Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I'm very excited to be filming and that is a plant tour. As you saw in a couple videos ago, I was transplanting all my plants into new pots and everything like that because it was time to do all of that just so that they could breathe again. And so I'm really excited to show you all of my plants. And unfortunately, there is a couple that aren't looking too uh, good right now but I'm working really hard to keep them alive and looking healthy. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado, here is my plant tour. So I think the easiest way to do this is basically just start showing you all of them because these are all attached over here and I can't really bring them down and show them uh, one by one. So we're just gonna start over here and I'm sorry for the lighting just because the sun is coming through behind all the plants. It's kind of hard to show them, but this one right here is an English ivy, I believe. And I tried to look up the names of most of these. Um, so I hope I get them right, but without this plant being in the way. This one's a newer addition. I tried to get an ivy before and they're susceptible to uh, spider mites. And that's what happened to my last one, but I decided to try to give it another try and it seems to be doing pretty well so far. So this is my ivy plant and all of these planters, um, the pots I got at Lowe's and I just made these yarn uh, hanging baskets myself just from a tutorial online. So next I'm gonna show you the best one I think of my plants and this is the golden pathos and as you can see I've had it for about a, a little bit more than a year now I believe and it has grown like absolute crazy. I've had to kind of just hang it over everything and it's still growing and it goes all the way down. You're gonna see kind of my messy bed here, but it goes all the way down here. And then I also have the longest one that comes all the way over here and around my window here. And I put this up here, I wanna say like maybe two weeks ago and it had been about here and in two weeks it's grown to down here. So it grows like crazy and I think when I got it, I think the longest one was maybe about here. And so, and then that's the longest one now. So it grows really, really well and it's really easy to take care of. And I just really like it. And some of the, like most of the leaves are pretty green, but some of them do have a little bit of golden um, specks through them. So I think it's really pretty. And yeah, if you're looking for a pretty easy plant to take care of, this one definitely I recommend because it's really, really easy to take care of and doesn't, um, it doesn't die just, you know, if you forget to wash it, I mean wash it, if you forget to water it for a couple days. So I really like that plant. It's my favorite one so far. And then we're moving on to the next one over here. This is my spider plant. And unfortunately it did not bloom uh, this year. Most of our plants just all around the house bloomed this year, but this one did not. I had a very rough start with this one and luckily it seems to be growing pretty well now and new plants or new leaves are coming in and everything. But I think this one looks really pretty and the uh, little blooms do look like little tiny mini spiders and I think they're just adorable. So. I can't wait to see when this one does bloom. Hopefully, maybe around spring time next year. I'm not sure when they bloom, but I'm really excited to see how that's gonna look. So it seems to be doing pretty well so far. So then we're gonna move on to my bookshelves. And I think pretty soon I'm going to go through my books and kind of give away the ones that I don't read or you know, just aren't planning on reading so that I can make more room for my plants here. We'll start with the bottom shelf here. I have this one here. It is a mosaic plant and I used a plant identification app to identify most of these because I've forgotten the names. Um, so if I get any of them wrong, just let me know uh, if you happen to know the names of them. And so this is a mosaic plant and I believe it also comes in green uh, where the veins are green as well. But I really, really liked this one. I got it at Walmart, I think last year as well. I got a f quite a few of these last year and some of them are pretty recent but I really like the, the uh, veins that are coming through and it's really pretty and it's also pretty easy to take care of. Um, I have forgotten to water it and it lets you know by drooping um, but as soon as you water it like within an hour or so it perks right back up. So you can see I have some tiny little new growth in here and everything so it's growing really well and 
Then we're gonna move on to this plant. This plant has been through a lot. It has one of the better leaves here and it's called silver break fern um, or bracken fern. I had kind of problems with identifying it but it is called a silver something fern um, but it does have the silver silvery uh, leaves on it. It's really pretty and when I did get it it was full of these leaves and everything and it needs um, kind of like constant moist soil not soggy but so I forgot to water it a couple times and so it really died and just all of this was just completely dead and there was only a couple leaves left and I've been really trying to take care of it lately so you can see that there is some new growth on it and everything but it's gonna take a while before it gets to the state that it was when I first got it um, but it's doing okay so far there's a few dead leaves here and there but for the most part it's doing really well so the one next to it here is a polka dotted plant and I think it's really pretty and unfortunately it's becoming pretty lanky um, just because the light that comes through my room I have these um, kind of film on my room so it doesn't get too hot but it also diffuses the light a lot so it doesn't get as much light as I guess it should so it's kind of stretching towards the window but if you keep it short and everything I'm trying to move around these plants around my head here um, if you keep it short, it looks really cute and it's kind of bush-like and it has these really, really nice pink and red um, polka dots on it. So I thought it was really cute and I have had them in the past and they're semi-okay, like um, not too hard to take care of, but if you do forget to water them, they will die pretty quickly. So as you can tell, I've had many plants die on me before and as I move up, you will see that the uh, state of my plants kind of get worse. but. Anyways, we'll move to the next one here and you'll see a bit of the dead one up above that I'll show you guys in a little bit. This one is called a Boston Sword Fern and I really like how it looks. Um, I found most of my plants I got at Lowe's because I don't really have like any nice nurseries around me that have indoor plants. They mostly have outdoor plants but um, this is really pretty and I have a lot of ferns just because they have a lot of different um, variety within them so I think they look really nice even though most of them are just green um, they look really cool with the different shapes that they have so this is the Boston sword fern but the one next to it isn't doing too well right now as you can see all of the leaves here are kind of turning brown on the ends and this one's called a ribbon fern I'm not sure if there's any like really good uh, leaves here that you can get a look at but um, I read recently that the leaves will do this if there's not enough humidity so I guess I need to keep spraying it a lot more and make sure that the soil is uh, moist but yeah this one looks really pretty um, when it's not you know dying on you but this one I got at the same time as this fern and it just isn't doing too well but if you guys have any tips for me I would love to be able to hear how to save this poor little thing because it is really pretty when it's um, healthy so and then we're gonna go up to this really really unfortunate plant up here as you can see it is very dead and I just haven't gone around to you know dumping it and replacing it with something else because I don't know I'm just lazy I guess and it was a creeping Jenny and really really pretty very golden leaves and it just died so quickly on me and I wasn't prepared for it and I was watering it pretty well and I was reading that they're very hardy plants and all this kind of stuff but it died really quickly and it was very full and one side of it died before this side died and I don't know exactly what happened. I'm not sure if the water was too moist or what just because these all of these uh, planters, I'll show you this one down here. All these planters down here have um, a bottom part so it does drain through it just keeps it in there so that the plant can get it later but so it's not you know waterlogged or anything like that but it just it just died really quickly and I haven't been able to find another one in Lowe's so I'm gonna have to replace this plant with something else and maybe I'll post it on Instagram when I do but yeah so that's that plant and I forgot this little guy over here just an air plant down in here and I have no idea what the little furry plant is in there but when you spray it it moves and it's really strange so that's an air plant I have killed one air plant before I have many skills when it comes to killing plants but I love them so much so I keep buying them so we're gonna move down to my windowsill here hopefully it doesn't get too dark on the camera with the Sun coming in all weirdly 
This is a, I think it's called a common asparagus fern. And I think that's what it's called. And I think it's just the cutest thing ever. And it's doing really well in the windowsill here. And I haven't had any problems with it, no dying out or anything. And it just looks really cute and it looks really soft. And I was definitely attracted to it when I saw it in the store. So I picked it up right away. So, and it's staying relatively small right now. So then we're gonna move. Um, before I do succulents, I'll show you this last one here. It is called a maiden hair fern, I believe, or a lady's hair fern. And this one has also been through quite a lot. And uh, when I got it, it was kind of like the other one. It was full and really pretty looking. And this one, most definitely, you cannot let dry out even for a little bit because it will shrivel up and die and the leaves won't come back. Like most plants, if they kind of droop, the, uh, the leaves will come back. This one just dies. <laughs> so I was about to give up on it, but um, I saw these little shoots if you can see that one down in there, that little green shoot, I started seeing those, so I kept watering it. And so now it's finally getting back to having some leaves. And there's another little shoot down in there. So I didn't want to like cut out all of these uh, dead things. As you can see, you know, it was very full. It was all these little dead uh, twigs everywhere. But I didn't want to pull them out because I was afraid that these little guys like wouldn't come up anymore so I just kept them in there and it's doing pretty well so far so hopefully it stays that way so we're gonna go back now and this plant I've had for so long this is the one that stayed with me literally for maybe four or five years so far and of course it's a succulent but don't be deceived because succulents are just as easy to kill as any other plant um, they're not as easy to take care of as some people say even though it's like you just don't water them but you know sometimes you want to water them and then they die because you water them too much but anyways I'll stop my rant there um, it's really really pretty has all these little like white ribbed details on it and oh, and it has a little pup on the side and I just haven't taken it out yet because I'm just afraid of killing the plant it's been with me so long that I'm afraid of detaching the little pup there and accidentally killing it all. It's really pretty and I wish I had filmed this when it bloomed. As you can see this little stick coming out of it, it bloomed like absolute crazy. Like this thing was so tall it was coming out of there and it had really really pretty white flowers and that's the first time it's ever bloomed since I had it. Um, but it was really really pretty and they smelled a little bit sweet too. So we'll move to this one here, this little guy. I feel like I'm a broken record when I say that they've been through a lot but it has and I got this for my birthday from one of my friends uh, a couple years ago and it started growing really really tall um, out of this little pot and I make sure not to water it too much just because it doesn't have a drainage hole in it but I was taking really good care of it but it was just getting really really tall and um, so I decided that it was time to cut the stem off and replant it and I went through all the different you know steps that you're supposed to do with it so it looks like it's doing pretty well now and it's back to its little small petite size so I'm happy that it's doing well because it was really pretty and I didn't want to get rid of the little pot because it was also really cute. So then we're going to move to some more succulents in here. I have these tiny little ones. I think they're called a uh, button button succulents um i believe that's what the name is anyways and i wasn't able to find what this succulent was called but um this one basically came back from the dead as i've said with like most of my plants and i was able to uh take the little leaves off of it at one point and started to propagate them into other little succulents but unfortunately they didn't make it um, but this plant made it and all it needed was actually some watering because I had not watered it in a very long time and I thought it was fine but all the leaves were shriveled up so I thought it was dying and I was ready to give up on it but I decided to give it one more try and now it's looking pretty well. So then I just have all of these little button succulents all throughout here um, just to kind of fill out this pot or this planter a little bit. And then last but not least I will show you all of these little um, propagated leaves that I have taken off of that one over there, that succulent, this little one. Um, when I took off the stem, I took some of the lower leaves off and decided to try propagating, propagating them. And they're doing pretty well. Some of them are looking a little funky, like that one. Um, but then we have really nice ones, like there's this one over here is looking really, really nice coming through. 
and I also have these tiny ones down in there that came from the stem of that succulent and they were already just growing on the side so I detached them and put them in here and I just keep them on here um, until the main uh, I think it's called the mother leaf will eventually die off and I'll be able to plant the actual succulent into soil so I just keep them on top of soil and spray them every couple days to keep the soil moist and um, I will link in the description the website that I found all of the instructions for propagating succulents and that one's also growing in now so I'm really proud of that one because it was just growing some little roots and it wasn't doing anything but I can see little um, leaves coming on there now and I also have another tiny little succulent down in there along with the leaves so those are my newest uh, addition to my collection here that I am growing myself which makes me very proud so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and comment down below all of your favorite plants and what kind of plants you have. And if you have any tips for me to keeping my plants healthy and alive, I would love to know and please comment all those things down below. And subscribe for more videos in the future and hit the notification bell so that you guys are notified when I upload. And thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in the next video. Bye.